Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of the Las Vegas Advisor Weekly Update with Anthony and Andrew. Today is Thursday, March 28th, in the year of 2024. And as we all know, the big news is uh, the Tropicana is closing. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we've talked about it before, yep. you know, already. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's here now. Um, you know, this, uh, this video goes up on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Then there'll be the weekend. And Monday is essentially the last day. They're saying the closing day is Tuesday. April 2nd, but um, that's just going to be getting people out of the hotel. So there's going to be a big party. Uh, well, I don't know if there'll be a big party or not, but we'll there'll, be, be, there'll be a gathering. Yeah. You know, I guarantee you the Tropicana has been around so long, there will be a lot of people that will go there, probably have some fun past midnight. They're going to close the casino down around 3 o'clock. Anybody who's in town just drop by. Yeah. It's cool. You know, like, I, I mean, I won't save a chip or anything like that. A bunch of people will take chips and save them. That's right. I don't care about that. You know, I won't have a napkin or anything, but it's just pretty cool to see some of the people who will show up like they do at these things. Yeah. I always say take a dollar chip. I mean, it only costs you a buck, and it's a little piece of history. Yeah, if you want to keep it and do something with it. I mean, if you're you know, an artsy person, you can make something. You make some kind of a necklace or a chain or something. I don't know. Or just put it in a box and save it. Um, but one of the things I wanted to bring people's attention to is we found a really cool, uh, like a retrospective about the Tropicana, a group called uh, SF Gate. I guess they're called SF Gate. It's a it's a it's it's a it's a blog, mm -hmm. and it's um it's like a, a bunch of period photos, you know. I mean, so they got pictures of the trop back, you know, back way back when. Um, they've got uh, like the girls out by the pool, the bathing beauties. Um, like they've got a picture of the stained glass ceiling that everybody talks about. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put the um, the link to that up in the description box. Okay. And it's worth clicking through to. It's just you know some good history and a, and a few good photos. Adios, Tropicana. All right, and additionally, speaking about. Vintage Vegas, Anthony. Hmm. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what's happening at Slots of Fun, which yeah. is uh, in between Circus Circus and uh, Resorts World. Right. We talked about it, um, I think, last week. That's right. And said it were I said I was going to go over and take a look, and I did. Okay. And um, it's wild, man. Yeah. I mean, it's like old Vegas. I okay. mean, the, the, the main thing they're doing is, well, we'll talk about the food in a minute. But they've moved, you know, the only what they call coin droppers, mm -hmm. which are the, the, slot, the old style slot machines that drop coins. You've got to feed them with coins or you've got to feed them with cash and they drop coins. Mm -hmm. um, the only ones on the strip were at Circus Circus. And they've moved all of those and brought in more. They've got 75 of these coin droppers now in, um, in Slots of Fun. That sounds cool. Yeah. And, and, and people who like the old time machines are going to love this. Uh, they've got uh, Magnificent Sevens, Sizzling Sevens, Blazing Sevens, Triple Stars, Triple Strike, Triple Double, Triple Double, Double Gold, Double Diamonds. Double Diamond. Red, White, and Blue. Yep. Yeah. I mean, these are the old time slots. I, I mean, these, I remember these games. I know, and I mean, this is what a lot of people grew up on before before all the craziness. Mm -hmm. We're going to see a, a, some real craziness in the jackpot of the week. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, these are the old time slots, and there's actually a sign on one of them that says ninety seven point four cent percent return. How is that possible? Well, you know, you can't tell on a slot machine, but they can't lie. Okay. You know, they'd be breaking gaming rules. So I think it was a it was one of the red, white and blues that said 97.4%, okay. which is better than a lot of uh, video poker schedules that you'll play. Sure, and probably better than most all slot games. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, definitely a, a better than the new, the new version. Mm -hmm. Now, these machines also they have uh, they have handles. Right. But, the the one-armed bandits. Yeah, but they don't work. Oh, really? All right, so I okay. put the money in. I said, I'm going to pull a handle for the first time in 20, 30 years, <laughs> yeah. right? And click, 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 and nothing happened, right? So you, you have to use the buttons, but they do drop the coins. Okay. And, um, okay, so another thing they've done there is they've, um, they've uh, got a table game spit now. Mm -hmm. They haven't had that for over 10 years. That's right, yeah. They've got four blackjack games there. Uh, they're not good games with good rules. They're eight decks, dealer, I mean, pay six to five on blackjack. You know, these are not good games at all, but they're only $5, mm -hmm. all right, $5 minimum. So you, that's difficult to find on the strip. Especially in that part of the strip. Right. They've got uh, at the bar, mm -hmm. they have like a $2 menu. They've got the new best shrimp cocktail deal in town. Okay. Two dollar shrimp cocktail, two dollar hot dogs, two dollar popcorn, and two dollar, you know, good glass full of uh, Heineken or Dos Equis. Two dollar Heineken. Hello. Yeah, you know, I mean, slots of fun used to be a place we used to go when I first came to town. We go there and we get. They had a fifty cent Heineken, mm -hmm. and that was like Heineken in a bottle. You get a bottle of Heineken for fifty cents. Okay. And this is about as close as you're going to get to that on the strip. You know, two two bucks. So you got some nostalgia. And you got some time that's going to take to play these games. It's, it's, it's pretty good. We went and ate the shrimp twice, 
And, you know, you can see they're better, you know, they're bigger than the, the typical kind you'll get in a, in a, like, say, a downtown Fremont shrimp cocktail. You showed me the picture. It looks great. It looks way better than what you got at Lanai at uh, Fremont that we were just talking Definitely. about. Definitely. And it's a, and it's a, a buck cheaper, mm -hmm. right? And, um, well, really a buck and a half after the tax because the tax, I believe the tax was included in it. It was, yeah, for mm -hmm. two bucks. And the first time we had, there were six of them. And the second time there were seven of them. Okay. So, you know, it's a good, it's a good deal. Uh <laughs> On the strip. Yeah. Right now. The only problem with this is getting there, mm -hmm. you know, because the, you cannot park. It's lots of fun. Right. And by all means, do not park next door at the uh, McDonald's because uh, they'll tow your car in 10 seconds. Oh, sure. You yeah, know? you can't park there. Yeah, you can't park in any other places. You know, heed those signs. So you've either got to park in the back of Circus Circus. Which is not a bad place to park. you got to walk through. It's, it's, it's between 5 and 10 minute walk, depending on how fast you walk. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you got to go through Circus Circus to get there. Um, and just lots of fun. The other thing, though, is that it's right across the street from Fountain Blue. Mm -hmm. So you can park at Circus Circus, go get, you know, $2 shrimp cocktail or, or whatever you want to do there, and then walk right across the street and take a look at Fountain Blue. Well, there you go. Or Resorts World, you know, next next door. I actually would say park at Resorts World because if you get a player's card, it's free parking. Yeah, exactly. You can do that, too. And I think at Fountain Blue, it's uh, like three bucks, uh, three bucks, three, uh, three hours for everybody is free, I believe, mm -hmm. not just locals. Mm -hmm. So you can also park across the street there. You know, one other thing you can do, and it's, it's fairly close, is if you want to check out the Pepper Mill. We've you talked can, about that. Yeah. yeah, you can park in their parking lot. You should go in. You should check it out. They've got nine, six jacks or better video poker. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to see the Pepper Mill, maybe get a drink there. But if you do that, you can leave your car and walk across the street as well. Okay, so uh, some great food for thought. And uh, if you want to play those uh, old school slots, I think that's pretty cool. Also, they got the buckets there for you to. Yeah, it's just you know. like it's just like the old days. You can get your hands all dirty and crappy. Oh, terrific! Eh? And I read something recently. I read something that says that coins are actually cleaner and carry less germs than bills. Could be. I don't know if it's true. They make your hands dirty, man. And in March Madness, we are down to the Sweet 16. Uh, let's talk a little bit about March Madness and uh, maybe where we can find some reduced juice. Well, reduced juice, one place, South Point. Okay. And, um, you know, here we are promoting South Point again, but give them credit. They do it during the Super Bowl. They do it during uh, March Madness. So okay. from the Sweet 16 on to the championship game, if you want to go, you have to bet in person. You can't do it on the app. But instead of laying 110 to win 100, you only have to lay 105. Hey. Hey, it's great. I mean, you know, you say if you're going to make a $100 bet and you lose it, you lose 105 instead of 110, you save five bucks. Okay. So that's nice. You know, the reduced juice is a good thing. Um, so even though South Point's not working with LVA, we're still talking about where you can find a good deal. Ah, South Point is a good hotel. I mean, it's a good casino. I, you know, they don't work with us. It makes, makes me mad, but uh, the, it doesn't take away from the fact they're a good place to go. Yep. Uh, you interested in uh, the favorites? Yeah. Who's the favorites uh, to win? And uh, let's talk about the lines. Okay. We're still uh, to win the whole thing. I mean, they're going to be playing today, but to win the whole thing is UConn. Okay. Plus 200. So a better 100 to win two. Uh, second favorite is Houston at plus 550. Okay. Third favorite is Purdue at plus 600. So, you know, Purdue with their giant uh, guy named Edie, mm -hmm. seven foot four. And uh, he's uh, there. Uh, you bet 100 to win 600 on them. Okay. So, not bad. The long shot of those remaining is uh, Clemson at uh, 9,500. Wow. Yeah. So, you get 95 to one odds on that. So, do you think that that's incinerating money? Not necessarily. I mean, okay. anybody can win at this point. Okay. You know, so I mean, you know, a ten dollar bet would bring back nine fifty. Um, you know, nine hundred and fifty bucks. So uh, it's um, it's um, sounds tempting. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna make it. You know, I mean, I don't think they will. Yeah. But uh, you know, now you can. You know, someone like Purdue at six to one. You know, a real good shot. Uh, ten bucks bring back sixty. You know, okay. in that case. That's pretty good too. Yeah. Not bad. All right, and in this next segment, for those of you who have been playing the weekly blackjack tournament with us at the Downtown Grand, uh, we have an interesting update for you. Yeah, the weekly Thursdays, mm -hmm. so there's going to be one today, but then they're going to have an open blackjack tournament. It's not going to be a mini, mm -hmm. although it's going to be priced like a mini on April 13th. Okay. So it's apparently, it's, it's a little bit, I haven't talked to anybody there yet. You're gonna, the, it looks like you can enter for 25 bucks. Right. Now, they said something about $25 and $50, so I don't know what the differential is and why. But let's just go with the $25. they are giving away $2,500 for first place. Mm -hmm. All right, so in these weekly minis, you know, if it gets over 500 
That's good. That means a lot of people are playing. Yeah. yeah. Well, this one, they're going to give away, they're going to guarantee 2500 for first, 1000 in promo chips for second, and 500 resort package for third. All right, so you put it all together, that's $4,000. let us uh, let us say that the, uh, the promo chips, let's say that they're the kind of chips that that you you know are worth only half the the amount so let's say that the whole thing's worth 3500 they're putting 3500 in the pool mm -hmm. that would mean at a $25 entry fee that would mean that they'd have to have 140 players for it not to be an overlay for the players to break even to bring in enough money to pay to pay those uh, those uh, awards okay i don't think there's any way on earth they're going to get 140 players okay. well not based on what we've seen well not based on what we've seen not based on the fact that it's the first one mm -hmm. there hasn't been it's april 13th so there's not a lot of lead time mm -hmm. um, this is an overlay you know, I mean, anybody who wants to play for, for, you know, 25 bucks, even if you have to pay 50 to get in, they're still going to need 70 players, which they're probably not going to get either. Interesting. So okay. this should be a re they're only playing, paying three positions. So it's a long shot that you get paid, but it's a good one. It's a good one from a mathematical standpoint. It's a good one to play. Okay. So uh, we'll be there. We'll be competing. Yeah, definitely. I will play it. Um, anyone who, has, who would like to play, who hasn't played before, here's a recommendation. Um, we may have talked about this in the past, but there's a group called Blackjack Apprenticeship. Yes. And Colin. there's a, yeah, Colin Jones, who did our book, 21st Century Card Counter, uh, did a real good video on tournaments. And I was in the video. I was actually the person they interviewed about it. And Colin asked some really great, great questions. Mm -hmm. The video turned out great. It's had 35,000 views already. Wow. Okay. Good. So, so you know, just, just go to YouTube and type in, are blackjack tournaments worth your time? Okay. And I guess we'll also have uh, we'll have a link in the, uh, link description, in the description box. box yeah. But it's a good. I think it's about a 25 minute, 30 minute video where we really go over how to play tournaments properly and the way you should be playing them to get an edge. Mm -hmm. um, give it a look. And Anthony and I would like to give out an LVA shout out to our buddy Tom B, who uh, is very tall, <laughs> and he uh, was the first person to send me this uh, this update about the downtown grand. Tom B tall. Tom B tall. <laughs> <laughs> And he plays a lot of the blackjack tournaments, so he, he stays on top of it. He does. And in this week's question of the week, uh, it's a great one. Um, are there any celebrity impersonator shows left in Las Vegas? What a f what a funny question. And when I when we when I saw this question, I'm like, there's always you know celebrity uh, you know uh, what do they call them impersonators, uh, impersonators yeah. in Vegas, but there's not anymore i mean because for years and years and years one of the longest running shows was legends in concert right so you had legends in concert you had american superstars mm -hmm. you had divas las vegas mm -hmm. which was that was the uh, the drag in drag uh, frank marino mm -hmm. and and those so those were the three kind of staples but none of them are playing right now right so you know we we went and we took a look at it we're doing a big um, thing on show prices for the next las vegas advisor so we, we took a good look at this now you've got things like mj1 okay M michael jackson which is a cirque show at, at mandalay bay but that's just that's michael jackson just one yeah right. it's not like a whole group of them you've got mj live at the sahara all right you've got spice girls at excalibur but again these are just regulars you know i mean one one person or one group um, at some of the places outside of the casinos, you've got s s one on Sinatra, you got one on Elvis, you got one on Motown, mm -hmm. but none of these have, you know, all of this. We finally found one. It's playing at Alexis Park right now. It's called Flashback, the t uh, Tina Turner and Friends. Okay, so Tina's got the friends. Yeah, so there's a bunch of female impersonators doing different, you know, I'm not sure who it is, Olivia Newton-John, uh, Donna Summer, you know, that sort of thing. So that's the, the only thing, but there, I'll, I'll give one other uh, maybe alternative to this. Um, downtown at the Golden Nugget is Gordy Brown. Okay. Right? Downtown Gordy Brown. And the Gordy Brown show, he's an impersonator, mm -hmm. and he does a lot of, I mean, he does... 30 40 impersonations during the show he's very very good mm -hmm. it's kind of the closest thing to this except for perhaps this tina show okay and cool. it's, it's it's pretty well priced i mean as far as shows go and there's also one more that's kind of you know uh, terry fader in town terry fader know? but uh, fader recently he's he's out fader is uh he's oh. he's out he's moving Oh, he's leaving I, after after a long, you know, a long time at the, uh, at the Mirage. And then he moved to New York, New York, and he's discontinuing. That's to my surprise. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, I mean, there really there's hardly anything you've got. No more again, Terry Fader in Vegas? Unless he picks up somewhere else. Wow. I know. Later, Fader. And in this week's Jackpot of the Week, this is a really awesome one. Uh, it comes to us from Christian, spelled with a K, P. Um, my buddy doesn't follow the channel, but he said I can share the story with you. 
His name is Christian P. from Torrance, California. He and I are on the same bowling team, and the season ends in Vegas at the South Point. On Saturday night, before going home, everyone went out. When we got back to the South Point around 2 a.m., Christian decides to go gamble a little bit more on the slot machines. A couple of hours later, he puts $100 into a Willy Wonka, and three spins later, he hits an everlasting gobstopper bonus and goes to the room, wakes up my buddy's dad, and says, hey, I just won a jackpot downstairs. Guess how much? The guy guesses 1200 And then he showed me this picture, and although he was hardly awake, he choked. The news was broken to me the next morning as I was waking up, and I had the same reaction. Actually, I threw up. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a true Vegas victory story. Uh, all right. Uh, what was that, a gobsmacker? Or Everlasting was gobstopper. Is that something out of Willy Wonka show yeah. or something? Yeah. Okay. I didn't, I didn't know that. I've never played Willy Wonka. I don't know. I don't know anything about this machine. It's a fun game. But look at what this guy did. I mean, it looks like he won 400000 but if you look closely and you look at the credits below, it looks like he won 500,000. 500. It looks like he won 50 million pennies. 50 million pennies, which is absolutely. Now, I, I, again, I have no idea why he won 500,000 and it says top jackpot, 400 and whatever that is. But uh, something went on. Well, I suspect that he got a major line hit that we still can't figure out what it actually is, but he did not hit the 400,000 jackpot. Could be. And I mean, you know, I don't have any way to, I can't tell you what the casino edge is on this. It's a celebrity, you know, um, uh, branded, yeah, yeah, branded uh, machine. So, you know, the edge on that's got to be double digits. It's got to be 10, 11, 12%. Okay. And, uh, but like, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the guy hit for 400 or $500,000. Yeah. And uh, that's, a, that's a hell of a jackpot to show, isn't it? I know. Well, I, I take it from a guy who's only won 40,000 pennies. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, closer than me. Yeah. I don't you know. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I mean, the guy doesn't watch the channel, he says, but so what? That's a great jackpot. And congratulations. Congratulations. There. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he'll watch this episode. And uh, shout out to Aristocrat, who makes the Willy Wonka slot machine. And damn, if we aren't promoting South Point again. That's it. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to the guy who bought the hat and had Anthony sign it. That was crazy. The guy comes up to me and says, sign my hat. The hat is black, Uh right? And I'm like... You're not going to see a signature on there. Yeah. He goes, and he, he, he whips out, it's like silver. Here's yeah. my silver pen. I was like, great. okay, so we signed it. You got it's the cool. paint pen. All right, so thank you for buying the hat. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Leave a comment. The more comments you leave, even if you have nothing to say, you know, way to go, LVA, something like that. Uh, the more comments you leave, the more you share it, the more... Uh, our videos get seen, and we're about to hit 15,000 subscribers. What was your uh, recommendation? You had a one-word recommendation in the comments. Jackpot. Yeah, jackpot. Perfect. That's it for this week, and we'll see you next week. All right, and in March Madness, we are down to the sweet fuck. Sweet fuck. We're down to the sweet fuck in... uh... (laughs)